Hello everybody and welcome to Red Rider Moto. Today I'm going to share six tips with you guys that I learned from doing my first Iron Butt type ride. So if you want to avoid the mistakes that I made, well let's dive right in. <laughs> Before we start with the actual video, let me mention that if you haven't seen the video of me doing the long distance ride, I'll leave a card up here, somewhere around here, I guess, and you can click that and you can watch it anyways. If you've seen the video, you're probably well aware that we hit a major setback along the way, and that is that we hit some back roads. What caused us, well, us hitting the back roads, is that we did not have a proper navigation. What happened is that our navigation automatically updated and well, it sent us on a detour. If we did not have made the detour, we would have finished way early. We still finished on time, but I'm just saying that if you want to do stuff like this, if you want to do a long distance riding within a time limit, then I highly suggest you invest in some high quality navigation. At least something that doesn't auto update so your routes are not gonna get changed along the way. Alright and that brings us to number two on this list and that's actually seeing and being seen. When we hit the back roads what happened is that there was not enough visibility. It started to rain very bad it literally just poured down on us and to be honest man I couldn't see a thing. And actually it's quite frightening to think that you're on a time limit so you're trying to hit the gas as much as you can especially since you're hitting a setback and you can't properly even see where you're going that's a bad thing and when I can't see where I'm going what I'm doing then the cars around me also probably don't really see me that well so that's something I'm definitely gonna change for my next trip. But I'm definitely gonna invest in some lighting and I'm definitely gonna wear one of those yellow vibrant color jackets you see people wearing when they're afraid they get run over. Because basically I was scared like that. Alright this brings us to number three on the list and that's also something about a danger. We were crossing a bridge and I tried to split lanes and what happened I looked in the mirror looked over my shoulder tried to split lanes and suddenly there was a car I did not see that car so the lesson I learned from this is well you did your best trying to see everything so how can I enhance this get myself a set of mirrors that has like multiple points of view so that I totally eliminate my blind spot that's all there is to number three. Number four is that the passenger on the back, my girl, actually tried to tell me that I should go straight ahead where I took the wrong turn that led us to the back roads. For next time, I'm going to do a ride with multiple persons, whether that's with one person, two persons, a hundred persons on a ride like this. I'm gonna make sure there's good communication. People, trust me, quality communication is key when you're doing this with multiple people. Number five on the list. Actually, I think this is the most valuable lesson I learned personally from the entire ride, and that's the setback there is in the rules. Okay, okay, let me explain this. Probably all read the rules, and basically what it states that with every um, turn you take on the highways, you gotta get a receipt. With every city you pass through, you gotta get a receipt proof that you've been there. Point I'm trying to bring across is that I live in Holland and basically every 60 miles or so you're gonna have a city. Basically every 50 miles or so you're gonna take a turn because that's the way our highway system is built. Next season I am definitely going to Germany because in Germany you have long straight Road. When you're planning a trip, it was beautiful. I really just highly suggest that you find yourselves a route you can go and go and go for hours in a straight direction. Because basically the extra unnecessary gas stops are gonna eat away your time quicker than you think. I hope everybody is enjoying the video so far. 
If you found this information valuable, please hit that like and subscribe button and ring the little bell to get notified whenever I put on new content. Alright, let's go on to the last lesson and that's number 6. Right, this one is quite obvious actually and it is the setup of the bike. Right, so why is the setup of the bike so important? It's not all bikes are created equal. Some bikes are better suited for this type of riding than others. Only thing you can do with your bike, what I'm doing with my bike in the mini series Building the Dream Rod, as I'll leave a link to up again, right there, is that you can set it up accordingly to the standards that you wish your bike has when you're doing these long distance rides. So basically just mod your bike a little and make it as comfortable as possible for you to sit on for hours and hours in duration. Alright, so that's it for the list. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel.